But Charlie was created by Tom Rogers of the Leo Burnett Agency. Uh, Tom was given full creative control, from the mannerisms of Charlie to the voice. The starkest. I swear Charlie's got good taste. To the physical look. Um, he contracted Frizz Freeling. Uh, Frizz Freeling uh, is the creator behind the Pink Panther and owned a studio called DePady Freeling. Now, they hired one of their top directors, a guy by the name of Chuck Jones, to actually create the physical character keys for Charlie, as well as direct some early commercials. Chuck Jones is best known as one of the directors behind Bugs Bunny and creator of such iconic characters as Wile E. Coyote. So as you can see, Charlie has an amazing animation family tree. In 1961, television was still an industry that was in its early days. Um, television advertising was a new concept. It was something they were still working on. And up to this point, cartoons were characters you saw on the big screen uh, before you went to see your feature films. Saturday morning cartoons hadn't even been born yet. And along came characters like Charlie the Tuna, whose rise was based solely on their exposure through television and commercials. Charlie became a phenomenon. In an era of great icons, Charlie was one that proved to have a real staying power.